Okay, what's up guys? So this is going to be a troubleshooting video. I'm currently driving myself crazy trying to figure this problem out. Um, so I downloaded Black Hole, uh, the audio driver, or the audio video driver uh, for Mac OS to stream into Streamlabs OBS um, primarily, which is working fine the way I have it set up. My problem is arising when I open up Logic and I want to uh, play something with a with my microphone through my uh, audio interface through Logic and then into OBS. I'm running into problems. Here's my current setup. I downloaded Black Hole 2 channel. Okay, uh, my specs. I'm working with a Mac uh, M1 chip, 2020, 16 gigs of memory, and uh, all that good stuff. One terabyte of uh, SSD. Anyway. Um, my settings here, uh, so I went through all of the YouTube videos on how to do this, I followed them to the T, went through the black hole uh, comments, all that sort of stuff. So I have my multi-output de uh, aggregate device set to my black hole 2 channel and my Scarlet USB with the black hole as the master device. Everything is in 44.1 kilohertz, so that's all across the board, okay, I made sure that was fine. Uh, I've done this combination in every possible one, so there's no other combination that works. All my drift connection corrections are set, are clicked. Uh, I've tried unclicking them, clicking one at a time. Again, every possible uh, situation I've tried and failed at this. And I'll get to the problem in a minute, because everything is working fine right now. Okay, as you can see, uh, we have audio working fine, no problems. Audio, video, everything I need to stream, totally fine. Um, let's just get more into it here. So my aggregate device, this is my multi-output. Uh, this is my input aggregate device. And we have, uh, again, 44.1 kilohertz. We have our Scarlet uh, interface with Black Hole 2 channel, drift correction, Scarlet as the clock source. I've been told, again, on multiple videos that Scarlet, using your interface, is the best option for the clock source. I've tried it with black hole. Neither of them fixed my problem. Okay. Uh, sound, again, input is going to be our, our aggregate device. Uh, that is our black hole. Uh, this one right here, right? That's our input. And then our output is going to be our multi-output device. Simple, right? Working. Everything's fine. Now, the problem arises when you open up Logic. Let me just show you my Streamlabs uh, setup here real quick. Um, so I have um, let's go to global settings audio monitoring at default uh, streaming track one I have both tracks enabled 44.1 kilohertz uh, desktop audio is set at default uh, mic auxiliary is set at my scarlet um, again, these are the settings that have been working for me and have been suggested to me. I've tried every other scenario, okay? I've tried this with the black hole. I've tried this with other things. It's just, it, it, this is the only one that works, okay? Uh, I have uh, all my two tracks. You can go through here and look and see if there's anything wonky, but um, everything seems to be fine. The audio capture, the audio input, everything seems to be working fine. So now, um, I think that's all I wanted to show on here. When we do go to Logic Pro and open it up, okay, here is where the problem starts. We're going to create a new uh, project. Uh, I'm going to show you just to make sure. We go to our audio, and like everybody has told me, you use your input device as Scarlet and then your output device as your multi-output aggregate device. Uh, I, I edited my buffer size because 128, it looks like I'm getting more latency. So I'm going to apply that just to show you the difference in latency. Um, so we're going to create a track here. And as you can see already, I'm getting a tinny latency, like a, whatever that latency number was. Uh, and if it looks like if I go back into audio and decrease my buffer size to 32 and apply it, uh, it's showing me less latency and it's just a tiny bit better, but I don't want this quality going out there because it sounds like crap. So my question is, 
what do I do about this? And my also other thing is, when I first started doing this and I opened up Logic, it was totally fine. There was no latency whatsoever. And all of a sudden, after, I don't know, a day, it just changed out of nowhere and started in this random uh, latency problem started happening. I've gone through everything, the forums. I have no idea where to go to from here. Uh, if I mute myself, it goes right back to the regular sound. So if we take logic out of the equation, uh, everything is working fine. Uh, I just, I, I honestly just don't know where to go from here. Where did my Streamlabs go? Here's my Streamlabs. Um, so yeah, I just don't know where to go from here. Um, so if anybody has any solution to this, I would be greatly appreciated, appreciative. Uh, so thank you in advance. And uh, yeah, please just uh, help me out here. Thank you. Just wanted to uh, put something else out here. I'm also facing the same exact problem in GarageBand, as you can see. Um, it's the same exact thing. My preferences are uh, the same. Scarlet to multi-out. Uh, and I am getting, so this is, uh, my track's unarmed, so it's not going through GarageBand. GarageBand, as soon as I arm it and it's going through, I'm getting that tinny sound on, uh, you know, it, I mean, Scarlet is, uh, my first input. Uh, I just, I have nothing left to, to click. I got, <laughs> I got nothing, man. Um, so again, any help would be greatly appreciated, uh, it just looks like it's not the uh, the DAW that's the problem because both GarageBand and Logic are having the same exact problem. It seems like it's a just a latency problem with Black Hole, I'm assuming. So, okay, thanks guys.